start believing it. Once you start believing, you got to put the actions in. You got to do the work. Whatever the work is, you got to put the work in. Put the work in. This is net work marketing. It's not net sit marketing. It's not net play marketing. It's not net think about it marketing. It's not net one day I'll get to it marketing. It's net work marketing. And most people miss the W, the work part. Net work marketing. I worked my butt off. I can tell you right now. Now, remember, it's not just work. You've got to be productive, not just active. You've got to be productive. I'll tell you why I make what I make today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this down. This is, my, this is my schedule when I first started, okay? My first day. It was because of what I did day one, not because of what I've done over the last two years. I set the exam. See, everybody want to take notes now. You see? I've already said the most. You didn't write notes when I said they won't outfriend me. That's more important than what I'm going to put on the board right now. But see, anything that's skill-related, skill we want to take notes. Anything that's really inspiration-related that really matters, we don't. Don't worry. My group's the same way. It's not just you. First day, this is what I did, ladies and gentlemen. Work. Why? I knew. Remember I told you I got to believe much bigger, much faster. I only set two income goals or three income goals. Set three income goals since I started. My first goal was my first week. My first week's goal was to make 70000 my first week. Yes, 70000 was my first week's income goal. I missed it, didn't make it. Make 25830 but it didn't matter. That was my goal. My second goal, 18-month goal, 250000 a month. Missed that one too, hit two hundred forty-nine. Why? Your business should be predictable. It's all, this is a business. I know my business. You got to know your company and your business. I know my business, and it's just as predictable as Exxon knows how much sales of oil they're going to do in the year 2015, and it hasn't come yet. But if you ask any of the executives, they can tell you with a small margin of error what the results are going to be because there are certain things that cause a certain effect in the business, you've got to figure that out for your company, but it is predictable. You can't be out there, well, I'm just going to throw enough mud on the wall until it sticks. It doesn't work that way. Eric talked about the 90-day game plan. It's predictable. What are you going to get done in 90 days? This is what I did. Day one, I called that group of 32 people. This is what I told them. It was actually 32 people I've sponsored. I had 16 of them on the call. This is what I told them. I said, listen, my current company, what, what I'm launching tomorrow. If those of you who want to know what I'm doing, be on my conference call tomorrow. They were on my conference call at 10 a.m. 10 a.m., I had 16 people on the call. I explained to them. I said, listen, now. And so what happened is this here. I said, guys, listen, you guys are, are right now, we're going to do my first, what I call, first mover's advantage conference call. I'm sideways. This way. This better? Okay, here we go. I said, I'm going to do my first, first Movers Advantage conference call. It's going to start at 12 o'clock. Here I am at 10 a.m. This is what I did. I'm, you don't have to copy this. This is what I did. Okay, don't write this stuff down. This don't matter. Whatever your method of exposures are, that's what you do. Get with your upline. Get the mentality that I had. Not this, the mentality. So 12 o'clock comes. This is what I did here. I said, guys, listen, out of these 16 people, I said, I suggest you have 10 people on the conference call. They said, well, okay, 12 o'clock when? Next Tuesday? I said, no, 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 no. Today. Today? Ten people? We only have an hour and a half. I say, exactly. You guys are already in. I got to start making phone calls. Goodbye. How many of you have talked to your prospects about doing a meeting or a call? Well, I've got to give them 36 hours to get the baby. You're not going to win big. Not if you want to launch something. Remember, professionals launch a business, amateurs join a business. I don't join anything. I am a launcher. I launch, okay? When you look at uh, 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 Microsoft, did they launch Xbox or did they just announce it? They launched it. Sony, they launched this new PS4, whatever it is, however many millions pre-ordered and sold. They launched it. I'm a businessman. You are a business person. You should launch it. This is what happened. 100, uh, 125 people showed up on that conference call. 
on that conference call. Don't clap. Don't clap. It's not the number. It's the attitude. It's the mentality. My group before, they saw me give people 24, 36 hours to prepare for a stupid conference call. You're sitting at home. You don't eat three days. If you found a pot of gold and you needed a few friends to come help you get it and they told you you can get all that you want, are you going to say, well, I can't call Leroy because he needs three days. Leroy, listen, I found a pot of, you better get, Leroy's like, where is it? I'm putting on my pajamas right now. I'm coming out the door. If you make it important enough. Some of you don't make it important enough. My next call was at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock, guess what? We had 225 people on the conference call because I told them the exact same thing. I painted the dream. I couldn't even explain the comp plan at all. Didn't know all the details. But what I told those 225 people, I said, listen, you guys are the second people to hear about it. I'm working on something called Project 5000, 90 days. I want to put 5,000 people in this organization. And nobody has signed up yet. And none of you on this call can sign up either. But we're going to do another conference call. They say, when? It's going to be at 2 o'clock. I mean, at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, I did another conference call. Guess what we had? 435 people on that conference call. That's a lot of activity, isn't it? That was half my day. Six o'clock, no more conference calls. Did my first home meeting at my house. I'll never forget, I had on a white T-shirt, shorts, flip-flops. Didn't even have time to get dressed. I lost 18 pounds. I thought it was because of our product. That's the testimony I was given. It was really because I forgot to eat while I was launching. I was so fired up and excited. That's what was happening. Six o'clock came. This is what I had. I had 25 people show up at my house. I said, come on in. Told them about Project 5000. And I'm sitting there spitting in all this stuff and telling them all about the stuff. Whiteboard, no PowerPoint. Didn't have PowerPoints for six months. No PowerPoints. I drew on a board, told them what my vision was, what we were about to accomplish, and that we're about to do the biggest project we've ever done in our lifetime. And if you want to get started, you can. That's what happened. At, at 745, you know what was happening at 745? 7.30, I mean, my doorbell was ringing with the second group of people that were invited. 35 people showed up at my house. And you know what I told those people here? I said, listen, the first 25, I said, guys, I got to wrap this up. We got another group of people that's coming over here. If you want to get in, you can. But go ahead over here to the dining room. My wife has the applications over there, blah, blah, blah. You can get signed up over there. But I've got another group of people that's coming in, and I can't be late with them. By the way, those of you who go ahead and sign up now, this group that's behind you, they possibly could be in your organization if you go ahead and get in right now, all right? So this is 7.30. Guess what happened at 9 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen? 9 o'clock, guess what I had? I had another 40 people show up at my house. And I was running shift work, okay? 10 o'clock, guess what? I did my last meeting for the day, and I think at 10 o'clock I had about 50 people show up at my house. And I'm doing the same thing. I lost my voice. I did that for the first day. You know what my leaders were doing? They're looking at me like, this dude is crazy. I've never seen him like this before. You know why they never seen me like that before? Because I had never done all that I could do. I had never gone all out. I had never sold completely out. It ain't because of what my product is. It ain't because of my comp plan. It's because of what I did day one. I kept this up for two weeks straight. This is not including the one-on-ones that I did. This is not including the three-way calls. This was my schedule every day, group calls for a day, four home meetings a day that I was doing every single day. And what I did is I showed them an example and they went out and they start doing the exact same thing. That's why my results were where they were. My first day late, if you count it up, I exposed almost 700 people. I did more in my first 24 hours than some people do all year. It's not because I'm do, I do magic, it's because of what the math is, it's simple. You can do the same thing. It's not, okay, I got rich quick. I compress time frames. Compress time frames. This is the work. You do the action, and ladies and gentlemen, when you put the action in, whatever your action is, you find out what your mentor or your coach tells you you need to do, and that's what you need to do. You put the work in, and don't give any excuses why you can't do it. Excuses don't work. Now, I know I may be a little too intense. I get excited when I talk about my dream. I get excited and passionate when I talk about what what works and what's going on. That's just who I am. I don't apologize for it. But I don't want you to think some of you, uh, that he's, I'm yelling at you because I don't know many of you in here. I don't want you to say, he's yelling at me. 
Eric brought this crazy wild man on stage and he was spitting and yelling and he looked at me and he was pointing at me and no, I, I, I'm yelling in love. I love you. I want you to just do this thing, okay? That's what I want you to do, all right? And I promise you, your group, they will catch on. When you do the action, they will follow what you do. They won't listen to what you say. 